A 64-year-old man attended our dermatology clinic with a rectangular-shaped pruritic rash on his right thigh and oval pink plaques on his right forearm. The lesions had developed gradually over the previous few weeks. Three months earlier, he had developed necrotizing fasciitis of his right forearm, and to repair the wound, a split-thickness rectangular skin graft was harvested from the patient's right thigh and grafted onto the lesion on his right forearm. Both sites had healed well in the weeks following the operation, until the pruritic rashes began to appear. The patient was initially treated with topical sulfadiazine, which had no effect. On examination, we found well-defined red plaques on both his forearm and thigh. He was otherwise fit and well. A skin biopsy was obtained that was consistent with psoriasis. On review of his medical records, we found that he previously had a single episode of biopsy-confirmed psoriasis nine years ago that resolved with triamcinolone without recurrence. We therefore made a diagnosis of a psoriatic isomorphic response at both the donor graft site and the recipient site. The patient was treated with betamethasone ointment with complete disease resolution after two weeks. The isomorphic response, often referred to as the Kobner phenomenon, is characterized by the appearance of a typical skin lesion of an existing dermatosis at sites of cutaneous injury. The phenomenon can present with several skin disorders, including psoriasis, lichen planus, vitiligo, and vasculitis. It can also occur in patients without prior evidence of the underlying dermatological disease. Injuries precipitating the isomorphic response include physical trauma, foreign substances, pressure, and even radiation. The clinical and histological features of the lesion are usually identical to that of the underlying dermatosis, and it should be treated in the same manner.